On this week's episode, we show you guys how you can get awesome looking product shots without the need of a camera. Plus, we also have a set of free icons for you guys, thanks to our friends over at pixelkit.com. What's up everyone and welcome back to another episode of Pimping Pixels, the only design show that will teach you the tips, tricks, and techniques that you need to become a pro. I'm your host Gregory James, yeah, it's a stage name, get used to it. That's not the only thing that's changing around here either. We actually decided to change up the format of the show a bit because it's been getting harder for me to produce new episodes regularly. As you might have noticed, I think our last Pimping Pixels episode was for like Halloween quite a long time ago. And you know, one of the main reasons for that is the arrival of my beautiful daughter, Jody Isabella. She's five months old now, and it's just getting harder working around that new schedule. So what, I'm, what we're gonna be doing actually is making the Pipping Pixels episodes easier and more focused on tips, tricks, and techniques. We're kind of cutting down on like full episode tutorials because it's just a little bit too involved right now. And we really want to give you guys like a weekly dose of design awesomeness. So what we're going to be doing is focusing on the tutorials, freebies, and design deals that we offer each and every week through our website, pimpinpixels.com. Now let's just get things started and jump straight into this week's design deal for a steal. So one of the main problems that you might have if you or one of your clients has a product is getting good imagery of it. You know, you could hire a photographer, but that's just gonna cost you a lot of money to like come in, set up your product, take good photos of it. And if you have like a lot of products that you need to take photos of, then you know, the cost is just gonna skyrocket from there. Well, you could easily solve this problem with Product Shot Pro. And what Product Shot Pro offers are a bunch of different Photoshop templates that you could just drag and drop your artwork into. And this will instantly turn your flat 2D design into a professional looking product shot. Now I wouldn't recommend anything that I don't use myself and I use Product Shot Pro quite often. You can actually find examples of this on pippingpixels.com. We ended up using it for, you know, showing off imagery of, you know, like the box art for our brushes and actions that we ended up selling. But where Product Shot Pro really ended up saving my life was actually with one of my clients that sells medical coding books. So I was supplied with like all the flat artwork for these books and I really could have just used that on their website and called it a day. But then it would look bland and all these images are actually like the same exact images that their competitors are using. So I knew I had to make these images stand out somehow. And Product Shot Pro has several book templates that I just chose from and I ended up using a bunch of different ones so that all of their images didn't look alike and this created a much better look for their products and people are just a lot more inclined to make a purchase if the product just looks a lot better when they're first viewing it. On top of book templates, they offer mock-ups for DVDs, CD cases, brochures, business cards, and a whole bunch of other things as well. Now I got some good news and I got some bad news for you guys. The good news is that you can pick up Product Shop Pro for only 37 bucks right now, and that's a huge savings over its $200 list price. The bad news on the other hand is that this great deal is only available for a couple more days, so you want to jump on it as soon as you can. You can head on over to pippingpixels.com deals to find this and all the other design deals that we offer through our good friends over at Mighty Deals. Or you could just use the direct link to Product Shop Pro that's in the description below. Now each week we try to bring you guys new tutorials and freebies to play around with. This week, sadly, we don't have a new tutorial, but we have an amazing free icon set for you guys from pixelkit.com. Now this includes 16 icons from their 5 o'clock shadow set, and these are great to use on a website or even for print. All of these icons are vector shapes, so you can make them as big or as small as you need, and perhaps like the best part about it is that they're smart objects. So if you actually drill into each icon, you'll see all the parts that are made to create it. And this not only offers the freedom to fully edit these icons however you want, but it also serves as a very good way to learn how professional icons are created. You could see all the little pieces that were made as well as the effects applied to them. So you could use those same exact layer styles to create your own icons if you really wanted to. You can find this icon set along with over a hundred other design freebies over at pippingpixels.com freebies. 
And if you're too lazy to type all that in, we got direct episode links in the description below. Now, that'll do it for this week's episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you get design awesomeness. We really want to try to make it weekly for you guys, so your support helps us a lot. Um, also, don't forget to go grab Product Shop Pro before that price goes up. Make sure you download the free icon set because, hey, it's free. And as always, keep on picking them pixels. Yeah, design deal for a steel. It's kind of catchy. It's got a nice little ring to it because it arrives. I'm an idiot. I got a burp. Got a burp. It's coming out. It's coming out. Hit the belly. Hit the belly. No. No burp. Nope. Not even now. Boo! 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 Yeah. That's how I roll. <gasps> that's how I roll. Nice. <laughs> Ugh. Awesome. I got the burp out. I got the burp out. He got the burp out. He got the burp out. Stupid. <laughs> Ooh, pixels, pimping them pixels. What, 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 what? That's a pixel slapping it, pimping it, pimping it. <laughs> okay. <laughs>